Open is an opportunity, a chance to broaden the mind, free tools and resources to benefit all of mankind. Open is an aperture, something you look through, access for all, not just the few. My name is Christopher Tate, and I love people, places, and systems. I love to create systems for people to use in many places to solve things. So imagine with me a school, an amazing preschool in Bountiful, Utah, an inviting place for kids eager to learn called Little Orchard Preschool, with a charming founder named Nikita Orchard. Now this school goes back many years. Let's go back to the year 2017, where Nikita asked me if I could write a school registration software better than her existing software. During the winter season, during the month of April 2017, I said, I'd love to help you with your site and write the software you need to accomplish your business goals, like increasing enrollments, which at that time was 231. So I set out to create software for Nikita to create records for her school. Her current school year, 2017 to 2018, her winter school season, the session start and end time for that season, the age groups in that session, and the school blocks for the start and end times, the days of the week, and the price per month. Now, you probably didn't know that an API can tell stories, but it can. And I love telling stories, and now I will tell you the secret. It's an open source search engine. Search engines are so powerful that I also use a search engine to read and write my code for me. In fact, for my open source projects, every piece of code I write as soon as I save it is immediately loaded into a search engine. The reason for this is that code describes systems and relationships, like school registration systems. or banking systems, like the Promotions and Adjustments API, which my team will be putting into production this weekend at Citibank. In its earliest sprints, the entire Promotions Java EE project was actually built by a search engine, from its Swagger spec to its request models, response models, common models, persistence models, and documentation. They were all built from search records about the Java class, field, and method information. But most importantly, the code comments. As you can see here, there are over 10,000 very important chunks of code floating around my search engine here on my laptop. When you think of a school in this Java class and in the real world, for example, think how the school key relates to other year keys, season keys, session keys, age group keys, block keys, child keys, like I searched for earlier in my school API. Also, how you can define a school by school name, school phone number, school administrator name, school location, school address, or many other fields which may be stored in a database and updated over time. Think about the way a school is defined and the relationships it has with other objects that can affect other generated fields, like the school short name, school complete name, school ID, and page URL. Now what if we put everything we know about this Java class into a search engine? The search 
engine API can tell me more about this Java class than you and I could possibly describe on our own. Now I'll tell you something surprising. This school.java class was actually written in French first and translated into open source software into English as a second language to work in both languages. And the search engine can tell me about 1,297 facts about every individual piece of this Java class to build an API, a website, an open API swagger definition, getters and setters, and so much more. There is too much to explain in an eight minute demo, but it is deployed here on openshift.com along with the solar search engine, a zookeeper cluster manager, computate.org, which is my own website for teaching open source software development, also in multiple languages, Red Hat SSO, and a PostgreSQL database. Let's quickly look at how the entire site was defined. As an open API 3 Swagger spec with endpoints to create, update, and search for all objects in the site, payments, children, users, moms, dads, guardians, ages, enrollments, seasons, blocks, schools, years, and sessions. Let's log in through the Red Hat single sign-on server and show you the whole site. while we listened to Nikita explain how open source software allowed her business to grow. Does an individual have the power to make business better with open source software? Yes, because with an open source software, like in my situation, I expanded a second location and you were able to add on that lo second location just like that. Whereas another software, I might have had to purchase a whole nother system and had it totally different, and they may or may not have communicated to each other. Um, so in essence of growing, that made it super easy. Let's also check out the site in French. Have you seen growth from 2017 to 2018 to 2019 that you think the enrollment system has helped with? Yes, because of the online enrollment that you created for me, um, that people are techie these days. And so they can come into the school, do a tour, go home, talk about it, log in, and sign up right there, right then and there. Now let's look how enrollments at Little Orchard Preschool started in 2017 at 231. Then in 2018, enrollments more than doubled to 501. And now in 2019, after just two months in, enrollments exceeded that too and are already up to 523. And that is the power of open source software in business. Computate open source software builds software in multiple languages at the same time, making internet internationalization easy. Vertex makes it scalable. OpenShift deploys it across the world. And that makes a big impact in communities large and small. You can make software that benefits your community and the world. 
check out Computate on GitHub on the Red Hat Demo System and Computate.org. And don't give up on your dreams. You can do hard things. Computate.